Bridges of Madison County was a 1992 best-selling romance novel set in 1960s Madison County, Iowa. It became a well-loved film and eventually a stage musical. Well, the musical is being presented locally in February, and two of the stars are here on our show today to tell us more about it. Please welcome Lindsay Ryan, who portrays Francesca Johnson, and Tim Riley, who plays Robert Kincaid in the show. Good morning to you both. Thank you for joining me. Hi there. Good morning. I, I, I have to admit, I've never seen Bridges of Madison County. I'm, I'm probably one of very, very few people out there. What is, what is it? What's the, the basis of the, of the performance? Well, <laughs> the story is a, a, an Iowa housewife living in, um, from Italy is, uh, uh, okay, I play a photographer, Robert Kincaid, who okay. is in Madison County, Iowa, taking pictures of these famous covered bridges. Okay. One of them I can't find, so I knock on her door looking for directions. And you found and love. <laughs> sparks <Hi>. fly. <laughs> Very interesting. So, now, are you... The woman's I, door? <laughs> I am the Iowa housewife. I'm actually a war bride. So okay. immigrated, um, met you know my husband at the end of World War II in Italy. Italy suffered tremendous casualties in World War II. So um, decided to escape my grief. Um, Naples is, is where I hail from in the, in the story. And Naples was particularly impacted by the war. Um, and hightail it out to Iowa for a new life with my husband. And I've been married for 18 years, have a couple of kids, and I'm just in a rut. I don't hate my life. I'm just, I'm in a rut. And my husband and my kids go away to the Indiana State Fair. My daughter is showing her her prize winning steer. They're hoping to win the nationals. And I'm going to be by myself for probably the first time in a really long time for four whole days. Wow. And Robert Kincaid shows up at my Knocks door. on the door. Yep. Yeah, so much for your book reading. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now the interesting thing is I do know that the original movie, um, Bridges of Madison County, was not a musical, but this performance is. How yes. was that adapted? Well, it's really interesting. Um, they kind of took the, the three larger characters in the, uh, the story, Francesca and Robert, and then my husband, Bud, who's an Iowa farmer, right? And um, the composer set each of our characters' music like based on who they are. So I'm from Italy, so all of Francesca's music is like full of violins and sounds like Puccini. Okay. Tim's music, he's supposed to be from the Pacific Northwest, so it's all kind of warm and folk music with guitar. And my husband's music is all like country influence because he's from, you know, Iowa. Mm, so so cool. it all kind of weaves together and builds this beautiful score. Mm -hmm. um, I noticed there were a couple of pictures on the screen. Uh, so Tim is actually from the Midwest and we went to go visit his family for Thanksgiving. And uh, he said, hey, you know, we're only gonna be a driving distance is what he said from the actual <laughs> covered bridges that are at the heart of this story. And is this one of those bridges? This, there? this yes. is this is the Roseman Bridge. It's the famous bridge that's at the epicenter of the whole plot to the show. So we went and we did an in-person character shoot. Very cool. Yeah. That had to have been amazing, you know, you know, having seen the movie and now in the play to actually step foot on those bridges. Absolutely. It was, it was a little piece of history. It was amazing. So let's talk a little bit about the performance. Uh, tell me where, when, what times, and so forth. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> so the show runs from February 10th to February 26th. Um, the, there's Friday and Saturday evening performances at 8 p.m. and a 2 o'clock matinee on Sundays. All of the shows are at the Enfield Annex. Um, it's in Enfield, Connecticut. And if you're from the area, you may know the building as the former Fermi High School. It's now called oh. the Enfield Annex. Oh, I didn't even know that, and it's right yeah. around the corner. Too yep. funny. And how do people get tickets? Can uh, they do the box office, online? How yeah, online is probably the easiest way to do it. You can go to www.operahouseplayers.org slash tickets. Um, they're $25 or $21 for seniors 60 plus. Fantastic. So is this the first musical you guys have ever been in? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing musicals since 1986. But, oh, wow. Um, <laughs> and uh, we met doing uh, uh, Into the Woods with Opera House Players in Very 2016, show, yeah. and we've done several shows together now. Oh, we should have um, mentioned, we're married. Yeah, <laughs> at some point. <laughs> Not only uh, in real life, out. rather. Right, right. we're <laughs> actually married yeah. in real life. At some point, so. we became friends, and then more than friends. Yeah, so thanks to Opera House Players, we now have a real family. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, I want to thank things. you both very much for coming on. It sounds like a wonderful <laughs> performance and an intriguing way to go from that that um, Clint Eastwood, uh, Meryl Streep love story to a stage musical. Sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much. Good seeing you. Thanks.